This is TMUA 2021, paper 1, question 13. Given that the function f satisfies the integral of f from n to n plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 for all n an integer, and from that we're asked to compute the sum from r equals 1 to 8 of the integral of f from 0 to r. How might you do this? Well, because we're summing this function here, it may be wise to first compute what this thing is. So what is the integral of f from 0 to r? Well, from the identity we're given in the question, we know what the integral of f is from set values, from set limits. So from n equals 0 to 1, from 1 to 2, 2 to 3. And we could do the same thing for all values of n. So how might, we, how might that help for this? Well, we can break up our interval 0 to r into regions of 0 to 1, 1 to 2, all the way up to r minus 1 to r, which means we can split up our integral by linearity of integration into these r different integrals with different limits. So we first find the area of the, under the graph from 0 to 1, then we add it for the area under between 1 and 2, all the way up to r minus 1 to r. So what are the values of each of these integrals? Well, by the identity, this first integral is 1, the second integral is 2, and all the way up to this last integral, which is r. So we're left with this. How might we sum this? Well, this is an arithmetic series with first, uh, first term 1 and common ratio 1, um, common difference 1, which gives us a formula of half r times r plus 1. OK, so we're now trying to sum this expression here. Well, there seems to be no real easy way to work out a general nth term formula for the series of this. So maybe it might be easier to just plug in the numbers in as we're only summing to r equals 8. So doing that now, we get that this is precisely a half, bring this half outside. Then for r equals 1, we get 1 times 1 plus 1, which is 1 times 2. And r equals 2 gives us a 2 times 3. And we continue all the way up till we get 8 times 9. Simplifying this, we get this expression, half times 2 plus 6 plus 12, all the way up to plus 72. And then simplifying this down again, gives us exactly 120. So the answer is C.